It all started as a practical joke. The Prince of Wales was visiting New York, and a great ball was given in his honor. German-American musicians, who were at the time victims of anti-immigrant sentiment, were not asked to perform at the ball. Feeling shunned, a group of German musicians, led by August Ash, put on their own alternative ball. It was a great success and prompted Ash to establish a club for German-American musicians. And so, it was public sentiment against German-Americans that prompted the establishment of Ash and Brutal Hall. The dominant Anglo-Protestant culture of the time was suspicious of Germans and Irish Catholics, often accusing them of anti-Americanism. The Know Nothing movement, an anti-immigrant political organization that was established in the mid-1800s, was in part what drove the German-American musicians to form their own club. Aschenbrudel Hall. This musical society was home to German-American musicians of the time. If the name feels like a mouthful, you can refer to it as Cinderella's Castle. Since the name is a play on the German Cinderella, Aschenputtel, and the hall's first president, August Asch. Asch was often willing to take on musical roles that were shunned by other musicians, earning him the nickname Aschenputtel, or Cinderella. Asch's goodwill and determination eventually made him a successful president to this musical society, and among the German-American cultural institutions of the time, it was considered a successful and prosperous organization. This musical society, founded in 1860, promoted and supported German-American musicians and was one of the leading cultural organizations in Kleindeutschland. German-Americans dominated the New York musical scene and nearly all members of the New York Philharmonic were of German birth or parentage. While the club eventually moved to Yorkville on the Upper East Side, another hub of German-Americans in New York, the 4th Street building continues to serve the arts and today is home to the La Mama Experimental Theater Club. Back in 1967, La Mama was virtually put out of the loft at 122 Second Avenue. And Ellen came around this block one day and looked at this building, never realizing that the city had already had an edict out on it to tear it down as a dangerous building. And she saw these hearts on the front of the building. Now, if you go out, if you haven't noticed them before, have a good look. They're inverted, they're upside down hearts, but they are hearts. And there's something about those hearts that said to her, own me. Somebody advised me, why didn't I try calling some foundations? Maybe somebody would help. So I called around, and one of these foundations named Ford called back and said they were sending somebody to look at our work. And this tall man with uh, white hair came, and he was with a lady. And after our performance, we went to the Fifth Street Hymas, the deli, and we had, you know, what you have in a deli. And I told him about my problems, and he asked, well, what could I do about them? And I said, well, uh, there was this building around here on Fourth Street that only had three walls, but I figured if I had $25,000, we could put another wall in, put a ceiling over a portion of it. It would be our building. We would be free. And this man was very nice. He listened. And then two days later, I got a call, said, come to this place called the Ford Foundation. And I went. They gave me an envelope, and it was $25,000 in there. And this man was Mike Neal Lowry. The World of Feelings is the theater of Alan Stewart. Of the theater. 
As you know, we are a non-profit group and we sustain ourselves by charging dues to all members, to their guests. Our dues are $2 per week. Any week that you might attend, you may see all performances of a particular play for the same $2. When we have our plumbing facilities, <laughs> we will have coffee, cocoa, tea, and instant punch. May I collect the, may I collect the dues, please? And thank you. I need some assistance. Thank you. La Mama is one of the most important theaters in America, world famous, and yet it has never made money. For its founder, Ellen Stewart, La Mama exists at the boundaries of imagination, to the reigning empress of the avant-garde. What the audience thinks is not important, it's what they feel. If we want to show hatred and cruelty, love and pain, we show you, we don't talk about it. It doesn't mean that the word should not be used. It only means that the director, the actor, these creative persons must find ways by which to illustrate what this word is about. La Mama is renovating our flagship landmark building at 74 East 4th Street. This project is about the legacy of La Mama, a powerful and unique legacy. It's about the future and future generations of artists having a home. La Mama began from a need that Ellen felt within a community of artists. She saw there was a bigger need to serve a larger global community of artists that deserve to have a voice. All these artists needed space. La Mama's campus has grown to four properties with 88,000 square feet of irreplaceable artist resources in the East Village, with four performance spaces, an archive, an art gallery, rehearsal spaces, offices, and living space for visiting artists. Each season, we offer more than 70 productions and receive 34,000 visits from people of all ages and all backgrounds who attend performances, exhibitions, educational activities, and the archives. And last year, we served more than 700 artists in this building. Ultimately, this project is about continuing this idea of unlocking the passion and purpose of generations of artists. As Ellen saw the hearts as a sign that this was the right building for La Mama, we continue to look at these hearts as we renovate. We believe art is essential in society and is essential in empowering the hearts of the people. Restore a building, remake a world. I want to tell everybody this, that uh, La Mama is a lot of people. And many persons say, well, how does it keep going? But I know at this moment, every corner of the earth there are people whose energies and heartbeats some part of which is directed towards la mama 
And with that kind of thing holding up, honey, we don't sink. Okay? <laughs> <laughs>